So I always start with a little introduction. Yeah. Then I'll throw you a question. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Hello, <clears throat> this is Waswell X Waswell, uh, Evil O, talking to you again from Kerala, from just outside of Kochi. And I'm sitting here with P.R. Satish, yeah. who's quite an amazing artist, was just in the Kochi Biennale, and I think he follows well from Zakir Hussein, so this is a good interview, I hope. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to start out that I, when I was talking with Zakir yesterday, yeah. we were talking that his painting is sort of all over, sort of like a Jackson Pollock. And, and I see that in your work too. It's, it's mm -hmm. like it's all over like an early Jackson Pollock, um, like maybe the mural he did for Peggy Guggenheim or I think he did one called Parsifé or something like that. It was like an all over mural. But you still see figuration mm, within yeah, this. Am, am I right about yeah, this? Yeah, I, I remember that. Would you say? But uh, I don't have much, uh, you know, big reference of uh, his early works, but uh, my style of painting, I think it's uh, all derived from my, you know, my own, uh, my own, uh, <laughs> Imagination and uh, and uh, my my, my uh, uh, you know uh, own upbringing from my my uh, village where I born and brought up uh, in the western Kerala. Uh, a place is called Munar and uh, I was uh, mostly my childhood I spent there. And my inspiration, my my imagination is all related to that. Uh, that village and its surroundings actually yeah okay so you draw a lot from childhood um would you say that your imagery is dreamlike would you describe it as or surreal or how would you describe it if you had to put I, a label on it or don't you put labels on it uh, I, I don't really label uh, my imagination in some kind of a surreal or, 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 or um, some kind of a classification I don't want to do actually. It's all, it's all, you know, it's all a revelation of my own, my own mind and, and you know, it's, I saw the, the, the images which uh, comes in my work are kind of a derivation of uh, uh, you know process of my uh, my own consciousness or sub maybe the, from the subconscious uh, I can't really classify my I, I see many um, people you have a lot of figuration of people in these paintings yeah a lot of faces yeah and you made the comment that maybe because India is such a populous country yeah um, I also, I like, I often feel that many Carolyn artists are, seem to be very concerned about ecology in some way. Yeah, you yeah, notice that's yeah. like a threat to yeah, Carolyn yeah. art, which would make sense considering what a beautiful state this is. Yeah. Um, so, would you think your work is about ecology in some way? I and mean, can you like expand on that a little bit? It's if not, uh, you know, I cannot, uh, I cannot directly connect my work with the ecology or, or, or the flora and fauna, what you see around and nothing. But it's a, as I told before, it's a, uh, you know, as I'm living in different spaces, like, you know, very lonely spaces, like my village and uh, the other space, which is the city, you know, I come here and I produce my work in the city, actually. Uh, when I am alone in my studio, I feel like uh, I can produce uh, more work and I can, uh, you know, uh, be free and uh, and uh, deliver some kind of uh, some kind of uh, some kind of striking images to to myself. And such such things are happening in different spaces. Like uh, when you are in a very very serene, very beautiful landscape and all you are in a different mind setup and uh, when you are in the city and it's a different uh, and you have always have some kind of worries when you face a lot of chaos around you and 
maybe it's a natural reflection uh, of such kind of thoughts. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, when you when you begin, you paint in oils or acrylic? No, I I rarely paint with oil. I mostly I work with the acrylic. Acrylic, yes. Okay. When you began, do you do any kind of like preliminary sketch? Do you kind of have a vision before you start, or is it all very spontaneous that you just go with what you're doing? I have a preliminary uh, um, preparation for my works. That is uh, drawings. Actually, I. I strongly believe in my drawing and I do a lot of drawing uh, whenever I am I can do that uh, you know I will have uh, a, you know small book and pen with me and uh, I make some kind of drawings maybe some study from the surroundings and it's all very private and, and, and it leads me to the new kind of vision and visualizations that 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 is the real real process actually you know the base is my drawing the drawing and I, even i i have many friends they are doing very good drawings and uh, and i have got inspired by you know uh, as you said uh, they are very close some of my friends are very good uh, like uh, my classmates with this sebastian orgis you may be knowing one artist yeah yeah, yeah. He's, uh, in uh, U.S. and uh, Zakir Hussain and uh, many Zakir Hussain was yeah. a batchmate of yours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he was. was oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was my batchmate, and and some of my seniors are uh, also, you know, many many senior artists are they are well known now, and all are very inspiring, and uh, we have very strong drawing base in our school. Right. I mentioned that was Zakir. I feel like. Um, the, what, it's the College of Fine Art in Trivandrum. Yeah. It seems to me has this incredible skill level. Everybody who graduates from there, they seem to get really grounded in basic drawing yeah. and basic painting, yeah, yeah. which I find is lacking from some of the other colleges, especially if you look at Western colleges. Yeah. It's like, you know, skill level doesn't seem to be important anymore. It's all concept. And so that's one thing I love about Trivandrum. I feel it's like really underrated. Mm -hmm in the consciousness of the Indian art scene, they don't seem to understand how important Trivandrum is in developing skill levels. Mm -hmm. uh, would you agree with that or no? But it seems to me like... Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, we have very strong, very strong, uh, you know, base in, in, in basic uh, visual uh, expressions like, you know, drawing and painting. And some of uh, artists are doing some very, very, a kind of uh, contemporary uh, language they are adopting for their uh, you know expressions and all but it's nothing wrong with that but you know basically my in my case uh, my uh, you know uh, the explorations are not at all I feel like I have to do something more in canvas and and doing basic drawings and, and the joy of uh, such kind of Creation is not over for me. <laughs> yeah. Do you have anything that is? I'm just. I have to admit that I'm not as aware of your work as I am with Zakir because I've followed Zakir for a long time now. Mm -hmm. So his work, I'm, I'm more conscious of. Yeah. But do you have any like strong concerns in your work that when you approach your work that you are concerned about this or that, or is it more just your subconscious coming forth? Is it more personal? Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, I'm uh, sure that uh, every artist is having his or her own personal, uh, you know, concerns about their works, and and I probably mm -hmm. I feel it, let it be, uh, you know, very private, and uh, you know, probably I'm not uh, trying to create something very mysterious uh, uh, things on my canvas, but. Uh, yeah, there is very personal concerns with me, and uh, and and uh, I hope uh, it 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 will gradually it will reveal and and even I am looking. At I, it. I noticed in your um, 
your video you did for the Kochi Biennale, yeah. you talked about how the area used to be countryside and it's turning into a city, yeah. which is something I've been concerned about all my life, this urbanization, the urban sprawl that happens. Yeah, yeah. I interviewed Alec Ball recently, and that's a big issue with Alec Ball up in Baroda also. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that I see in your work, it seems like you're, you're like interested in this overpopulation of people and then you're, there's kind of like spaces sometimes where you can look through and you see like the vista, which is like the wide open spaces, but the wide open spaces are becoming populated with yes, all of this yeah. stuff. And that's not just the people, but everything the people yeah. bring with them and, yeah. and create. Exactly. And, and am, I, am I heading in the right direction with yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your, uh, your reading is uh, quite the right way and it may be, uh, yeah, it's all, it's all, affecting our, our thinking and, and our imaginations and you know it's all uh, somehow uh, it, it uh, haunts us always you know the, 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 the you know it's not uh, very it's not very uh, what you call uh, uh, very hopeful or you know uh, I'm not very optimistic about <laughs> the I was going to say there's a pessimism in your work. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but uh, yeah, it's there, maybe. Because mostly I, I, I try to, somehow I'm, I'm, somehow I'm not uh, trying to create something beautiful or, or uh, you know, um, something very pleasing to others. It's all... Uh, quite painful when I'm painting and, and you know. There's, uh, there's a, a vein of that expressionism yes. in what you're doing, <laughs> yeah, it's expressionism. I love, I love that, you know, because I, I was not revealed to uh, the so-called uh, regional, you know, the oriental art or something in my early life. When I joined in the college, we are mostly exposed to the western art and, and things like that. So. I have a very, very hidden kind of a, a past life that is, there is no cultural awareness or nothing. We are just simply a farm, farming uh, community. Uh, I'm born and brought up there and, and uh, we have a very different lifestyle actually. And we are not culturally exposed, you know, programs or nothing we have been not uh, very familiar with. So when I come to the uh, you know art art world I was so happy that uh, you know there are something which you can also do uh, that uh, you know uh, you can do something and it can be you know it can uh, relate some other people from us maybe some from us, some other continent or it, it is happening now <laughs> yeah that visual language just yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. So you don't have to know a language, you can just express it visually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's all interesting, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, you're represented by Merchandani and Steinrook yeah. in Mumbai, yeah, yeah. are handling you, yes. Yeah. And you were just a part of the Biennale. Yeah. And Anita Dubé curated you into yeah, that. Yeah. The experience was good. Yeah, that was a very very surprising experience for me because uh, I have I have been working for a long time here in Kochi, almost some six seven years now, but I have uh, shown my work any gallery or uh, no, this is my first uh, solo show. I think that was one thing Anita was trying to do was bring people into her more on the periphery and bring them more center stage. That's yeah. part of her whole concept, I think. For yeah. Them structure of the Biennale, but... Yeah, yeah. That was a, you know, very, um, uh, you know, maybe they were searching for artists uh, from India and uh, somehow the Biennale um, president, uh, Bose Krishnamajari, came to know about me and my work and uh, he introduced me to Anita Dubey. And after Did the Biennale give you a good boost? Are you more on the map now? People know you. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, after the Biennale, many <laughs> you know my works have been exposed to the world. Actually, yes. uh, 
that was a very warm response from there. Even I, I never expected that the common public and uh, maybe very important critics, artists, uh, all so, you know, uh, all kind of people, uh, they, they somehow they encouraged or, or uh, appreciated my work and it was a good experience. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we're probably going on 20 minutes. I like to keep this a little short. Yeah. If people lose their attention span. <laughs> I don't know why, but I want to thank you. Thank you so for much. For giving me some time and yeah. chatting and explaining your art a little bit. Yeah. And this is Wazwax Wazwo Evo O from Kerala. Please remember to like and subscribe to these videos. That helps a lot if you like and subscribe and share. And uh, see you next time. We'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> That's it, dear. <laughs> Cut